the original Plants vs. Zombies is widely considered to be one of the best games of all time and is arguably the greatest mobile game ever. I was curious to see how Plants vs. Zombies 3 would turn out, but after looking at some gameplay, I realized that it didn't hit the same as the original game. There was a certain feeling that people got when playing the original Plants vs. Zombies that made them eager to get on their devices and strategize on how they could beat the zombies and emerge victorious. With this game, PopCap did something that has never been done before and something that has never been done since. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on the notification bell to know when I upload another high quality video. Plants vs Zombies was released in 2009, around the golden age of mobile games where many of the games out then are now considered legendary. Some titles include Angry Birds, Temple Run, Candy Crush, Fruit Ninja, and Clash of Clans, among many other classics. However, even with the amount of heavy hitters in the mobile game world, Plants vs Zombies was still able to stand out from the crowd. Plants vs Zombies is a tower defense game, meaning you use the towers or plants to defend your home from the zombies. The game becomes increasingly more difficult as you encounter new zombies with different abilities and various environments that you must adapt to. First of all, the game's music and visuals are phenomenal. The music is simple but very catchy and distinctly different for every level. After playing Plants vs Zombies for a while, you could probably tell the environment that you were playing on just from the song alone. The visuals of Plants vs Zombies are simple, giving the game charm, making it look almost like a 2000s cartoon. From the cheery sunflowers to the menacing doom shrooms, the way that the plants, zombies, and maps were animated was fluid and refreshing. The visuals became much more detailed in Plants vs Zombies 2, which in my eyes made it lose a lot of the charm of the original game and is part of the reason why the original game generally receives better reception from players. Now let's talk about the gameplay which is fun for three main reasons. Plants vs Zombies is easy to learn but hard to master due to the game's strategic depth. When going through the campaign, you have to strategize differently to beat every level, causing you to have emotional investment in the game the more that you play because you invest so much time and energy into thinking about how to beat the zombies. For example, when you reach the night levels, mushrooms become very useful as they are cost efficient and do not need much sun to plant. At night, sun does not fall from the sky anymore and can only come from sunflowers or the new sun producing plant you get, sun shrooms. You then make the decision of whether to use the sunflower, a more expensive plant that grants you more sun early game, or the sun shroom, a cheaper plant that gives you more sun late game. Sun shrooms cost only 25 sun, half the amount of sunflowers, however, they only generate 15 sun until they fully grow and only then do they make 25. Decisions like that should not feel difficult, but they are. This strategic depth makes you stay engaged in the game as every choice you make feels important. Each plant has a unique purpose, and for almost every plant in the game, excluding the overpowered puff shroom, there is a clear reward and consequence for using each one. If you wanted a moderately priced plant with good range, you could select pea shooter, but you will have relatively low damage output. If you wanted an insta-kill plant that had area damage, you could choose cherry bomb, but it would cost you three times as much as squash. Making choices such as these is a big part of the reason why Plants vs Zombies is so addictive. As you feel yourself doing better in each level, the better that you are able to strategize. This brings me to my second reason. You begin the first level playing with only one lane and the pea shooter, your first plant. After beating the first level, you get the sunflower, a plant that is essential throughout the game as it generates sun, which you would otherwise get 25 of every six seconds, very little for the amount required to purchase most plants. After unlocking the pea shooter and the sunflower, you quickly move through the levels as you become more skilled, 
taking on different, more challenging environments. You encounter larger hordes of zombies that have different strengths and abilities. Some include bungee zombies that drop down from the sky to get your plants, and football zombies that have more health than a bucket head and are still one of the fastest zombies in the game. When you see that flag zombie walking towards your plants with this sound, you know that you are going to be swarmed by zombies. In those moments when you encounter a tough zombie wave, you feel locked in, clicking away at your seed slots and quickly placing plants in order to survive. But have you ever considered why you felt that way? This brings me to my third and final reason. Even though Plants vs Zombies is not an extremely difficult game, you still may experience a sense of danger when playing. When you see a massive wave of zombies, you tense up and frantically strategize in order to beat them. This is because many games, including Plants vs Zombies, trigger your fight or flight response, a physiological reaction that prepares your body to either fight, stay and deal with a threat, or fly run away from a threat to safety. You are determined to do whatever it takes to experience that sense of safety, even if your perceived danger is caused by you playing a video game. When fighting off hordes of zombies, your brain will think that you are in danger, causing you to feel nervous focus when playing, where you feel in the zone, yet worried at the same time. After beating a tough level, you feel a sense of pleasure because your brain thinks that you have overcame danger. In continuing to play the game, you get stuck in a cycle where you feel nervousness, irritation if you lose, relief and satisfaction if you win, and a desire to play more. You may feel invested in different games for different reasons. If you play games like Valorant, you may have a sense of camaraderie when joking around with your teammates, or a sense of pride when carrying a game. If you play games like Minecraft, you may feel a sense of accomplishment when collecting resources, building your base, and upgrading your tools, or a sense of adventure when exploring the nature-like world. You may have good memories of video games and the time you spent playing them, but going out and experiencing the real world is far more fulfilling. I used to play video games for hours on end, and I still have fond memories of them to this day. That is why my Discord profile picture is the sunflower from PVZ2, or why I named my Discord server after the manufacturing company of the plants in the original game, Bloom and Doom Seed Co. I remember getting 60 elimination games as Genji in Overwatch, or running around eagerly trying to get clips on Fortnite, but limiting my time on games has greatly helped me improve my life. My mental health is better because I am not staring at pixels all day, and in distancing myself from digital overstimulation, I find being in the outside world very fulfilling. That is why I encourage you to join me and either quit video games or limit your playtime to one hour a week. Set a timer whenever you play and reduce your playtime by two hours every week. By wasting your valuable time and energy into playing video games, you only get false feelings of achievement from progressing in the virtual world. Over time, by getting off the game and doing something productive, such as reading, meditating, journaling, or exercising, life will become far more enjoyable. Even though the feelings that you get from video games are real, such as camaraderie, adventure, or achievement, they come from an illusion. At the end of the day, Video games are just simulations, virtual realms that you go on for short-term enjoyment to get what you are missing from the real world. You may have enjoyed thinking about how to use the plants to beat the zombies, carrying your team in FPS games, or adventuring across the vast, beautiful lands in open world games, but now is a better time than ever to make a change. So spend less time in the virtual world and spend more time achieving meaningful goals, improving your mental health and bettering yourself. That is something that is truly worthwhile. That's it for me guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay awesome. We evolve together. If you enjoyed this video, you will certainly enjoy this video over here. Leave a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to know when I upload another high quality self-improvement video. Become a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday and a better version of yourself tomorrow than you were today.